Who said that USA Today is the only paper in America that's not afraid to tell the truth? If you guessed media expert Homer Simpson, you'd be right. Don't. This is Yardine Frankel with Honest Reporting. USA Today is the largest circulation newspaper within the United States. But that fluff they serve up as news took another hit when they published a story about an anti-Israel group that's pressuring singer Alicia Keys to boycott Israel. That's because the story was not the result of hard work by a reporter trying to get the truth. All they did was republish a press release issued by an anti-Israel organization. Entertainment reporter Steve Jones did hardly more than copy and paste the press release and then send it out to USA Today's 1.8 million readers. 1.8 million? This anti-Israel group never dreamed that their press release would receive so much coverage, let alone with the veneer of credibility given by a major newspaper. It is not news that USA Today has been losing money and laying off staff for the last few years, but that's no excuse for reporters to simply take anything that's handed to them on a silver platter and publish it as news. Click on the link over here or down in the description to send a letter to the USA Today and demand to know why Steve Jones is able to pass off an anti-Israel group's press release as hard news. Let me just leave you with some good news. Here is what Keyes said to those pushing for her to boycott Israel. I look forward to my first trip to Israel. Music is a universal language that is meant to unify audiences in peace and love, and that is the spirit of our show. For Honest Reporting, this is Yardine Frankel. Thanks for watching and subscribing. <laughs>